The first rays of sun cast a golden hue on the lush landscape of Cambodia. And a new day dawns for Jing Zhaoyu and his colleagues. The team are preparing to restore the royal palace of Angkor Thom, once the center of royal power during the Khmer Empire from the 10th to the 16th century. It's the third Angkor restoration project supported by China and poses a fresh challenge for Jing involved in restoring the Angkor relics since 2013. What we did before was many restoring buildings, but the Royal Palace project is more comprehensive. It involves the restoration of the buildings and also the study of its history and layout. Now that the preliminary archaeological stage is completed, the design is also coming to an end. Preparing well now will provide great support for the smooth implementation of our later work. And then here, use this. Yes. Every careful stroke of their work brushes away the hidden history of an ancient civilization, breathing life back into the past. There are about 1,000 stones in this area, and we have to clean them as well as determine which part of the structure they belong to and sort them accordingly. Each stone is unique, and the whole building cannot be restored unless every stone is put back to its original position. Their work is guided not only by diligence, but also Chinese principles rooted in reverence and respect which guide their efforts to preserve the relic's original essence. Today, the renovated Takio Temple stands silently as a testament to this cross-cultural endeavor and shared commitment. In dealing with the Shanhua bracket leaning outward, external tie rods were used to both maintain its stability and reversibility. We are more concerned with the long-term preservation of these relics. These unique principles applied in our project, for example, minimal intervention, reversibility, authenticity, have been recognized by the National APSERA Authority and the International Coordinating Committee for Anchors Expert Group to be verified and promoted. Uh, Jing's dedicated work to restore the Takio Temple earned him Cambodia's prestigious Knight Class Medal. But for this humble engineer, the true reward goes beyond accolades. As an important nod, on the Asian Maritime Silk Road, the anchor relics reflect the long-standing exchanges between our two peoples. We share the same intention. This heritage is not only a treasure for Cambodian people, but for all human beings, and we should all do our best with the greatest sense of responsibility. It's also about enhancing local pride, boosting the economy, building deep relations with the local community. I've worked at the Takio Temple for nearly five years with the Chinese experts. Working with them brings happy memories. If I have the opportunity, I'd ask to return to work with the Chinese team. As long as these ancient stones endure, tireless experts like Jing Zhaoyu will be there. Through their dedication, Cambodia's glorious past promises to continue to all future generations. Feng Yilin, CGTN, Siem Reap in Cambodia.